Hey everyone, this is Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, back again with another discussion, rant, whatever you want to call it, on some select information out there. In this case, some news coming out of Nintendo. Man. So, a, you know there's been an issue with the left Joy-Con for some people? Uh, there have been reports that some consumers have been unable to use the left Joy-Con properly when they are three feet away from their console when it's docked. That's crazy, right? There's also been further research into it by another YouTuber who tore apart the Switch, added their own antenna on that left Joy-Con, and fixed the problem entirely. But Nintendo has not commented on the left Joy-Con problem at all until today here is what nintendo of america has officially released in a statement to kotaku about the left joy con issue there is no design issue with the joy con controllers and no widespread proactive repair or replacement effort is underway a manufacturing variation has resulted in wireless interference with a small number of left joy con Moving forward, this will not be an issue, as the manufacturing variation has been addressed and corrected at the factory level. We have determined a simple fix can be made to any affected Joy-Con to improve connectivity. There are other reasons consumers may be experiencing wireless interference. We are asking consumers to contact our customer support team so we can help them determine if a repair is necessary. If it is, consumers can send their controller directly to Nintendo for the adjustment, free of charge, with an anticipated quick return of less than a week. Repair timing may vary by region. For help with any hardware or software questions, please visit support.nintendo.com. Alright. So, there is no manufacturing issue. There is no design flaws with the Joy-Con. But it was due to a manufacturing variation. So the design was fine, but someone at the manufacturing level screwed up. That's what you call defective Joy-Cons. Um, so the design might not be bad, but someone at the factory has been making mistakes. Yes, that's a defective product. Nintendo absolutely should be replacing those Joy-Cons for free. Now we know that they are not technically replacing the Joy-Cons when you send them in. So, we know this because a CNET report, uh, they sent in their left Joy-Con that was having connectivity issues to be fixed. They actually took it apart first, took a picture of it, sent it in, got it back. It's the exact same Joy-Con, same part number, same everything, same serial numbers. So, Nintendo didn't give them a new one, but they added a piece of conductive foam on top of the antenna next to that metal chunk that was towards the bottom. They put in that fix... And CNET reports that they have no more issues with the left Joy-Con. That's called sending out a defective product. I'm sorry. Th there's no other way to put it. There are certain left Joy-Cons that are completely defective. And it requires this temporary fix to do it. In fact, I'm actually interested for someone to tear apart their Joy-Cons and see which ones aren't defective and what those look like. In fact, maybe I'll do just that. I don't know. I have two sets of left Joy-Cons. Once I get the right tools, I do not have small enough screwdrivers at the moment to open my Joy-Cons. But once I do, I will open them up and I will look at it myself and see if there's another video coming for me. Because maybe they are designed different. Maybe one of mine has the flaw and maybe one of them doesn't. I have no idea. So, to be clear, I love my Switch. I use it every single day. And no, it's not just a Zelda machine. Although Zelda is obviously the game I play the most on it right now. Uh, in fact, I might be picking up the Binding of Isaac soon, but I've been playing lots of 1-2 Switch, a lot of Just Dance, I've mentioned this before, that's kind of what I do for a workout, I, I have Snipper Clips, fantastic game, I love my Switch in every situation I've had it in, whether it's been docked, tabletop, on the go, it's been fantastic. In fact, I'm recording this in a hotel room right now, I have my Switch right next to me, been playing it right before, this news came across my desk and I'm like, man... I can't believe that this is the way Nintendo is stating it. A manufacturing variation has resulted in wireless interference. It is not a design issue. So, the design for the, for the Joy-Con is fine, but someone at the manufacturing level has been making mistakes. 
So you have faulty equipment. So can't you just say that certain Joy-Cons out there are faulty? It's not that hard to admit to it. Now, I know it feels like I'm being overly harsh to Nintendo. Um, to their credit, they are fixing this issue for free by putting that conductive foam on the Joy-Con. Uh, free shipping to them, free shipping back, less than a week. Nintendo of America has had superb support. Hopefully, other branches of Nintendo, was Nintendo of Europe, Nintendo of Canada, Nintendo of Australia, you know, wherever you're from, hopefully your local Nintendo is also just as diligent in getting this problem corrected because it's silly that this problem even happened. Nintendo should have noticed this before it went out, but they didn't. And I know they say that this issue isn't widespread, but... It was something like 75% of people who reviewed the Switch had left Joy-Con issues. Uh, in fact, that left Joy-Con issue has been the number one thing that people have had issues with with the Switch beyond the screen scratching, which, again, that's a design flaw. Nintendo, you're not addressing that issue. That not only are you using plastic on the screens, but you decided plastic on plastic is a good design for docking things. I... I mean, I haven't had a scratch on my system, but I have a tempered glass protector on it. So there you go. Um, I'm really excited about the Switch. You know, there's another report out there that the Switch is, you know, could sell more than the Wii. I, I have some other remarks on that. Maybe I'll talk about that a different day. So I'm excited for the Switch. The Switch is doing very well. I love the hardware. I love the games so far. I love the Joy-Con controllers in general. Uh, even those Joy-Con straps that people are having issues with, I actually... Don't think they're that bad, but man, just own up to it, Nintendo. Like I said, at least they are replacing these things for free, or not even replacing them, fixing them for free. It is what it is. Thanks, Nintendo, for at least commenting on it, because I thought they were just going to let this thing go. People send their droid cons in, they fix it, Nintendo doesn't say anything. It is what it is. It is a pretty widespread issue, but at least it's been identified, it's taken care of, and if you do not own a Switch yet... Hey, future Switch releases and future Joy-Cons are not going to have this problem. Thank you for watching. This is Nathaniel Ruffeljantz from Nintendo Prime. And again, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy these kind of videos. I saw that the last video, which you could check out down below in the description about Anita Sarkeesian and her comments on Breath of the Wild, I saw that you guys seem to enjoy that video, so we'll try to keep these... These videos go in for as long as I have some interesting stuff to talk about. Thanks, folks. I'm signing out.